Now the 16th and one of the very important transformation is to plot inequalities from the given equality. So I'll take up an example. I'll draw this straight line. So when x is 0, y is 2. And y is 0, x is minus 2. So I'll draw this line. In order to determine the region presented by this inequality, what I'll do is I'll draw the graph of y equals x plus 2 and then I'll take up any random point on either side of this graph. So the simplest point is origin. So what I'll do is I'll put the value of x and y in the given inequality. So if I'll put x and y as 0, I'll get 0 is greater than or equal to 2. Now, which is incorrect. So that means the solution to my inequality or the region represented by this inequality will lie on the other side of this point. So solution to this inequality will be the region which lies above the line. I'll take up another example. Say for example, I need to draw this region. Y square is less than or equal to X. So my basic graph here is Y square equals to X. So I'll draw this graph. Now because origin already lies on this graph, so I'll choose another point. So I'll maybe choose this point 1 comma 0. So I'll put it there. So if I'll put 1 comma 0, so if I'll put y as 0, I'll get what? 0 is less than or equal to 1, which is true. So that means my region will lie inside of parabola. So y square is less than or equal to x is the region inside this parabola. 2x plus y is greater than 6. So again, I'll draw the straight line. 2x plus y equals to 6. Now, because there is no equality here, so what I'll do is I'll draw this line, but I'll draw a dotted line. So I won't include the points on this graph. That's the line 2x plus y equals 6. Now, again, I'll take origin. So if I'll put origin, so if I'll put x as 0 and y is 0, so I'll get what? 0 greater than 6, which is incorrect. So that means it will lie on the other side of the origin. Answer to this inequality is region, which lies above this straight line. And here, I have not included the points on the line. I'll take up another example. Say, for example, I have to find the region bounded by this circle, which is x square plus y square equals 4. So this is x square plus y square is equal to 4. And because it has an equality sign, so I have drawn a solid circle. If I'll put origin, I'll get 0 is less than or equal to 4, which is true. So that means the region represented by this inequality is all the points on and inside the circle. Now I'll draw this parabola. And because there is no equality sign, I'll draw a dotted parabola. So that means points on the curve, they won't be included. So I've drawn the graph of y equals 2x square with a dotted line. Now I'll take a many point. I cannot take origin because it lies on this parabola. So I'll choose another point. Maybe I'll choose this point. This point is 0, 2. So I'll put 0, 2. So if I'll put 0, 2, y is 2 and x is 0. So 2 is greater than 0, which is true. So that means it will represent all the points inside of this parabola. So the region which is common to both the circle and parabola is this region. Points on the circle, they are included and points on the parabola, they are not included. I'll take another example. Say for example, represent the region x square is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to mod x. So my first graph is y equals x square so I'll draw the graph of y equals x square. And then I'll choose any random point. Maybe I'll choose 0, 1. I'll put it in the inequality. So x is 0, y is 1. So that means it will represent all the points which will lie inside this parabola. Now I'll come to the second graph. And second graph is y equals mod of x. So I'll draw y equals mod x. Now again, I'll choose this point 0, 1 and I'll put it in this inequality, which is y is less than or equal to mod of x. So if I put y as 1, x is 0, which is false. So that means it'll be outside of this modulus function. So the region represented by this inequality is the region which I have drawn in red. What about this question? Represent the area bounded by the curves mod of so y plus x is less than or equal to 1 and mod of y minus x is less than or equal to 1 and x square plus y square is greater than or equal to 1 by 2. Now for this one, I can simply write it as 
when mod of x is less than a, then x lies between minus a and plus a. And for this one, again, I can write minus 1 is less than y minus x is less than plus 1. So I'll draw the two straight lines x plus y is equal to minus 1. And for x plus y equals to plus 1, so this is x plus y equals 1. Now, what about this? Now, y minus x equals minus 1. So, which is when x is 0, y is minus 1. And when y is 0, x is plus 1. So, that is y minus x equals minus 1. And this one is y minus x equals plus 1. So, when y is 0, x is minus 1. And when x is 0, y is plus 1. So now I'll take any random point. I'll take this origin. So if I'll put this origin here, so if I'll put x and y is 0, I'll get what? Minus 1 is less than or equal to 0, is less than or equal to 1. So that means I'm looking for area in between these two lines. And what about this? Minus 1 to plus 1 by minus x. Again, if I put origin, I'll get minus 1 is less than 0, is less than 1. So then again, I'll need area in between these two lines. So that means the area which is common to the two given inequalities is this square. Now we'll come to the third one and the third one is x plus y is greater than or equal to 1 by 2. So now it represents a circle with center at origin and radius as 1 by root 2. So length of the center of the square is under root 2 and if I'll draw a circle with center at origin and radius as 1 by root 2 this circle will touch all the four lines. Now if I put origin here inside the circle, I'll get what? 0 is greater than or equal to 1 by 2. So that means region which lies outside the circle. So that means the answer to this question will be the region represented within the square which lies outside the circle. So that's the region we are talking about.